Hi Libra, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of April 19th to the 25th, 2021. And I do want to remind you as always to like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, when meditating on your energy overall for the week, the message that came through was the energy of a star, the energy of a star. And um, the song that Spirit chose to speak upon your week on Shuffle was Learning to Fly by Shepherd. Learning to Fly by Shepherd. And um, first of all, I absolutely love that song. But anyways, the lines that stood out were, I'm still learning to fly over and over. I keep getting closer, closer to touching the sky, going higher and higher. It's a week where you continue to reach for what you feel you deserve in this lifetime. It's a week where you're reminded of the potential that lies within you as a Libra, the potential that lies within you as an individual. Uh, it's a week where you prove to yourself and those around you once again that you can achieve it all. Nice. And so with that said and done, we're going to continue or start off rather by pulling a message or two from the Moonology Oracle deck. And do keep in mind general weekly read for the sign of Libra. So do take what uh, resonates, leave a dozen for somebody else, and check out your other chart placements for more messages. All right? For our lovely Libras for the week of April 19th to the 25th. That was easy. Perfect. So we're starting off with it's time to release negativity. Throughout a week where you're reminded of what you're made of, you're reminded of the potential once again that lies within you. Uh, it's also a week where you're pushed to release certain negativities that lie within you, certain grudges that you've held up until now, or certain <clears throat> negative habits or negative views on your situation. Allowing for yourself to minimize the chaos within your mind as you make your way through this week. Win-win outcome is forecast. Throughout this week, you'll find yourself needing more balance. You will find yourself uh, seeking this balance as you remind yourself what you're made of. It's also a week where you, a difficult situation that you are, are wrapped up in with what feels like one other person. You'll be reminded that a win-win outcome is on the horizon. A reminder that any difficulties that you face at this time will be diminished over time, allowing yourself to take several deep breaths this week as you instill more balance. Good start. And we're gonna continue by pulling seven tarot cards for the week, um, one for each day, of course. What do we have for Libra to continue this weekly read? Uh, thank you, Spirit, for Libra. Alrighty, we have a bunch here. Let's see, one, we got two, three, we have five. And we're going to pull the last two right from the top of the deck. As we thoroughly cleanse the energy here, we're beginning the week in the spread with the Nine of Pentacles for Monday. So you begin the week feeling the need to do what's right for you. You begin the week uh, being reminded that reaching for your independence uh, is just a part of you being you. Reminding you on Monday that your individuality is what's going to propel you forward towards your own success. Uh, Monday's a day where you find yourself being reminded that you're simply a star in the making. And being side by side with it's time to release negativity, it's a day where you're reminded that any sort of, once again, negativity or um, pent up uh, frustration within you needs to be released as you continue to make your way towards success. For making your way to Tuesday, we have the Four of Swords. You make your way to Tuesday and you feel a bit burnt out. You feel really tired. Allow for, your, for Tuesday to be a day that inspires you to or reminds you that it's important to take care of you. It's Tuesday where even if you have certain obligations and responsibilities to take care of, you should Cut out some time for you, some Libra time, if you will. Allowing for Tuesday to be a day that replenishes your energy. Um, allow for Tuesday to be a day, 
once again, um, or not once again, a day where you can uh, rest your heart. And we're moving on to Wednesday where we have the Three of Wands. You make your way to Wednesday and you are thinking about the future. It's Wednesday where you realize how ready you are for what's ahead. Being reminded occasionally recently of uh, how much you have to look forward to. You can't help but for some reason on Wednesday, maybe simply because you got some rest, some much needed self-care, you're able to now get excited or re-excited about what your future has uh, in store for you. Allowing for Wednesday to be a day that um, reminds you that your passion is still bright that your light is still bright and that people have noticed recently. And also it's a day where people around you will notice that you're glowing on a different level because you've been taking care of you. We're moving on to Thursday where we have the Emperor. And so Thursday is a day where you feel the need to plan for what's ahead. Being, following a day that where you were excited about what, what the future holds, uh, excuse me as I stutter, um, and where we were talking about passion, you can't help but jump right into the next day, um, ready to, to see what's what's next for you, or simply ready to plan for those next few, uh, few steps. Allowing for yourself to try to enjoy the process on Thursday. It's a day where you might feel a little uptight or simply too serious out of really wanting to see uh, an end result. Allowing for Thursday to also be a day where you once again believe in your dreams as you continue to plan for all that you desire. And we're moving on to Friday where we have the Ace of Wands. Don't be surprised when you find out Friday or discover Friday is a noisy day. It's a noisy day in your mind and a noisy day around you as you can hear the background noise. Allowing for Friday to remind you that your beautiful Libra mind can be used as a powerful tool or uh, something that's gonna hinder you. Allowing yourself to remember being aligned with the Nine of Pentacles. That there's a need for you to have balance within your mind in order to continue your efforts to reach for your independence, to continue the efforts side by side with spirit to make you into a star. And um, oh, being side by side with the win-win outcomes forecast, it's this day when there's a highlight once again on that situation um, that needs a new sense of balance or you're reminded that there's a win-win outcome on the horizon. Allowing for um, Friday to also be a day that reminds you that you need more balance within your life in general. And we're moving on to the weekend where we have the world for Saturday. Saturday is a day where you find yourself feeling very motivated, very uplifted. It's also a day where you find yourself glowing on a different level. I know we were mentioning earlier on in the reading that that's been happening for you more so recently, but the beginning of the weekend is just even more so. There's just something about the way you feel about yourself and your situation, uh, your future, allowing yourself to feel really good in general throughout this day as spirit in the universe reminds you of all that you have to look forward to. Also reminding you throughout this day of the impact you have on those around you. Being aligned with the Four of Swords. It's a day where you also are reminded that once again, the benefits of taking time to rest like you did on Tuesday. It, it simply leaves you glowing at a different level and just feeling good for all to see inspiring those to do just the same for themselves. And we're moving on to the last and final card for the week where we have the Ace of Cups. You finish off the week feeling truly abundant, feeling as if that Libra and Cup is overflowing, feeling like, yeah, there's a lot to be improved, or it needs improvement. Uh, there's a lot that you still desire, but what you have now, you can make it work. Spirit saying to me, it's, Sunday where you're reminded uh, to make the best until the best. It's the end of the week where you're reminded that uh, to have a grateful mindset, to feel abundant in the moment, uh, even if things aren't ideal. It's to allow for yourself to stay positive, to stay optimistic, to manifest all the abundance you desire as you move forward. 
and being aligned with the Three of Wands. There's definitely a highlight to finish off the week on your future, on all the abundance that lies ahead for you, because you're you. We're going to finish off this beautiful reading by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. For our lovely Libras, thank you, Spirit, to finish off this weekly read. My life gets better by change, not chance. Allow for this to be a week that reminds you, Libra, that the changes you've made recently and the changes that you plan to make moving forward need to happen. Allowing for yourself to remember that sitting back and allowing, hoping for things to change is not a productive approach. Allowing for yourself to continue or to start to take action as you see yourself become the star that you were meant to be. All right? So Libra, I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.